Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Hermine will be a big troublemaker for the coastal waters of New England and the ocean as well. Not necessarily a big threat as far as rain goes. Let's take a look at what's happening right now, though. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. I'm not looking at all, anything in terms of rain out there at the moment. We just have some clouds overhead, and that's about it. Threat tracker for tonight. Low chance of anything severe. Same for Saturday and Sunday, although the winds will be picking up throughout the day on Sunday and the waves will be building throughout the day on Sunday. Sunday night is when the worst of the storm looks like it'll begin to arrive here in southeastern New England. Quiet right now, though. Here's live pictures from Narragansett. Bit of a breeze, some small waves there near uh, the towers in Narragansett. Already in the upper 50s in Smithfield, 59 Taunton, 63 Newport, westerly at 65. You see those high clouds? working uh, on the northern fringes of this storm system. This is Hermine working uh, across North Carolina right now. And Hermine's going to continue to work its way on off to the north and east. There's the center of circulation. There's the rain we're expecting overnight. We're going to continue to see the, the rain shield continue to lift northward and then just kind of stall out for a few days. Here we are Sunday at 10 o'clock in the morning. There's the center of circulation still pretty far off to our south and then taking you into Sunday night. Then we'll begin to see some rain showers arriving Sunday night early Monday morning. Some occasional showers through the day on uh, Labor Day, but we will be seeing some strong winds and some big ocean waves crashing into southern New England. So here's what we're looking at in terms of winds. Strongest of the winds likely uh, Sunday night and into Monday. Winds from the east and northeast, 40 to 50 miles an hour possible in communities westerly Narragansett, Newport, New Bedford, maybe out toward Cape Cod and the islands as well. And Block Island, you're included in that. In fact, we have a tropical storm watch in effect. It ends right at westerly, but it wouldn't surprise me if this is extended into southern Rhode Island and parts of Massachusetts during the overnight and into the daytime tomorrow. Talking about the big ocean waves, you can see the impacts from Hermine. See these big waves that will be building, waves of 8 to 10 feet, coastal flooding possible beginning Sunday night. We'll likely be seeing some beach erosion from Sunday right into the daytime on Wednesday. This storm system is just going to be sitting off to our south for a few days, and as a result, we'll see uh, lots of wind, and those waves will continue to pound southeastern New England and the mid-Atlantic as well. Forecast for tonight, overnight lows in the upper 50s in Providence with partly cloudy skies. For tomorrow, clearly the best of the uh, three holiday weekend days, 77 degrees for tomorrow. The blend of clouds and sunshine looks like it'll be dry for Saturday. I think most of Sunday will be quiet as well. A quick look at the beach forecast for your Saturday. Temperatures will be topping out in the low 70s. Water temperatures about 75. Sunshine, but clouds will begin to take over through the day. Sunday, we are going to be seeing the winds picking up through the day. Seas will be building. Watch out for rip currents at area beaches. The rain will arrive late, more than likely after dark Sunday. Here's what your Labor Day looks like. We are expecting to see coastal flooding, some beach erosion, as well as large waves and continued uh, rip currents at area beaches beaches. Strong winds are likely on Monday and some occasional rain showers, but not raining all the time. Could be some rain showers lingering through the daytime on Tuesday. Not out of the question they linger on Wednesday, but I think Thursday and Friday we are looking at drier and warmer weather with temperatures in the 80s. That's still a few days out and there's lots of time to watch the storm, so make sure you check back through the weekend. You know, people who like to surf are going to be down at the beaches. they got to be careful. Definitely, yes. There's going to be some very rough surf, even for uh, the experienced surfers. Okay, thanks, TJ. Coming up next on Eyewitness News at 11.